Uh, I think let's just go you and me. Uh, hold on. Was that text? No. I think. Let's go with which every. I think let's go with everyone's the right answer here because I don't want to date Rizay. I think I never pass the opportunity to just go with Rizay. I think. Let's go with everyone. You wonder if Nanako knows about the Firework Festival? You tell Nanako you'll be going to the Firework Festival with your friends? Dad said we'll be going to the Firework Show once he comes home. It's at night, so I have to go with Dad, but he said he'll try and come home for it. I'm glad to hear that. You decide to leave Donko and Dojima go to Firework Festival with your friends? You and your friends are arrived at the hill overlooking the town. Ooh, the crowd's pretty thin here. Riverbanks were packed. Surprised you found a quiet spot like this. Oh no, I knew about it. I passed by the mountainside a lot. Customers asked me about it too. I wonder if Nanako-chan will make it. I called and told her where we'd be before I left. Hey, where's Teddy? Not only was he hitting on girls non-stop, he accidentally put the moves on Hanako and she dragged him away. He ducked into his bear skin right away and acted like a bear, but he still got dragged off without a word. Whoa! Can we just leave him like that? Sure we can. His karma caught up to him. Aren't you being a little cold to Teddy today, Yosuke-senpai? When I think back to what he did this morning, no, I really don't. Truth be told, I wish I could send two or three more Hanako's at it. Oh no. Dude, that would kill him. What happened anyway? I don't even want to remember it. He dug up some private stuff from my room and brought it to the Hanamura family breakfast. <laughs> he was all like, Yosuke, what's this magazine about? Can you imagine the humiliation I went through because of him? It's your fault for having that stuff. It's not like I ever thought anyone would wave it around in front of my parents. <laughs> Is this really what you want to be talking about with girls around? Huh? Is he not talking about his secret savings? Secret savings for a guy. Right. Let's just leave him be. <laughs> <laughs> what a tragedy! My lovely fur is completely ruined! That's... Okay, that's worse than I was expecting. Anyway, people are going to stare at you like that. Hurry, take it off. But I'm like a newborn child inside. Just like your magazine from this morning, Yosuke! <laughs> Do that! Oh my... Stop making that face, too! Quit Opening this morning's wounds. There they are. Big bro. <laughs> Tell you run off. Looks like Dojima's son made it in time. Yeah. Dad came home early. Uh happy for you. Yep. Nanako seems happy. Sorry if I made you nervous. I didn't quite finish my paperwork, but I figured a Dachi could handle the rest. Hey there, little lady. Want to launch some fireworks of love with me? How do you do that? Well... Cut it out, Teddy! Do you want Dojima-san to haul you in? Things are heating up down there. Does that mean it'll be starting soon? Really? No, 
Don't don't listen to him. You enjoy the Fire World Festival? That concludes our program for the Summer Fireworks Festival. Thank you for coming, and all of us here in Inaba hope to see you again next year as well. Man, that was amazing! Totally worth coming out here for. Because you got to stuff your face, right? So what? You were all munching on snacks too! An extra large steak bowl doesn't qualify as a snack. Yeah, yeah. You just guess right. I'm Nanako chan? Mm, I'm sleepy. <laughs> I'm not surprised. It's about time for you to be home in bed. I'll take Nanako back. Make sure you guys don't stay out too late, huh? Bye bye, Nana chan! Bye bye. Fireworks were great, but I don't know, it just feels like summer's just about over. Why'd you have to bring that up? I'm alright with that. When I'm working, I have to wear fall clothes during the summer so I don't get a sense of the seasons changing. But this year, I went to the beach and saw some fireworks. I even got to wear a yukata out to the summer festival. The festival, huh? Well, thanks to a certain someone, I don't have anything but bitter memories of that. Really? That someone is you. Well, I had fun. Oh yeah, you were good at that candy cutting. Wait, that's not what I meant. I was expecting something more... more bittersweet and stuff. Right? Uh... Easier with skies, sure. You take the long view too much when it comes to this stuff. Are you going to throw away the only summer you'll ever get as a second year just because it's a little less annoying? Hey, that's mean. You make it sound like we're annoying. Annoying? Am I really? Oh, sheesh. Yukiko's freakout switch just kicked in. It's your fault for being so insensitive, Yosuke! Hmm, huh, yeah. This kind of thing really doesn't come up with guys. <sighs> Yosuke, you really do only think about girls, huh? Like you're any different. Oh yeah, now that you mention it, the investigation team in Persona 4 really has like four girls and four guys in like in the end. But uh, I guess, yeah, but, like Persona 5, I mean like if you count Royal, Adachi, and Sumeri as one girl and one guy, like if you count the cat as a guy, which I don't think you should, then you have four guys in that, and you got Anne, Haru, uh, Makoto as girls, right? Yeah. Uh, okay. And uh, Futaba. So I guess, yeah, I guess now that you think about it, I just, I just don't count, I think I just don't count the cat. And also they friend load the guys uh, like really a, a lot in that you Joker meets um uh a Joker Joker uh, yeah yeah Joker Joker meets uh like Joker like Makoto Futaba and Haru all like came back to back as like three girls so like yeah so the male to female ratio in um, in Persona 4 and 5 are actually the same now they think about it. The Persona 5 has more characters, obviously. But, like, the male to female ratios are the same. But, like, for some reason, I feel like Persona 5 have more girl characters, for some reason. Oh, yeah. Should we have asked that kid to come with us today? What kid are you talking about? His future wife. Uh, well... Uh, he means the boy detective. Oh, him. Yeah, I guess so. When you think about it, we were working on the same case in a way. Yeah, that's true. I mean, we might not ever see him again. I'd hate to leave it with him like that. I said some harsh things. You know, I remember him saying something that sounded pretty sad. Then again, I doubt he's the type who'd accept even if we had invited him out to see the fireworks. 
I wonder if he's not here anymore. He seemed to be busy, so maybe he's already working on another case in some faraway town. Huh. Sorry, I didn't mean to be a downer. There's no point in wondering what might have been. He was a pretty good-looking guy, too. He might have been a roadblock in, uh, other ways. Yosuke, you really do only think about girls, huh? Shut up, you don't have to say it twice. You ate a long, light dinner, and the other, uh, which the others didn't head home. I believe Naruto comes here today. Comes in today? No, no. Oh, yeah, no. You finally came down. Um, I got a call from Dad. He said someone gave him a watermelon. It's too big for us to eat, so he said you should call your friends over. Do you think Teddy and your other friends can come? Well, that's what we're gonna do. Nanako seems to want everyone to come. Decided to give them a call. Watermelon? Oh, definitely. I haven't had any yet this year. I'm gonna call up the others, so you better not smack it open before we get there. Uh, uh, luckily, everyone was able to come over. Nanako may have been the factor in their decision as well. What the heck are you talking about? That makes no sense at all. And dude, will you cut out those commercial lines of yours? That's the essence of you. I'm home. <laughs> what? Welcome home. <laughs> I'm home. <laughs> That's a lot of shoes. How many people are here? Say the what? Well, you see... Okay, hold on. Let's split the watermelon open! Say, the what? Ah, well, you see... The watermelon is already cut and shared with the neighbors. Come on, Nautico. Don't pout. Everyone came here to hang out, right? I'm really sorry. It never occurred to me you'd want to do that. Hey, Nanako-chan, let's do it again sometime. Next time, we'll do it right at the beach. Seconded! Whoa, does that mean we get another chance to see you in bathing suits? Oh, there probably aren't enough days left. We'll have to do it next year. Next year? Will you play with me next year, too? Of course we will! You betcha! You betcha! Did you hear that, Nanako? Yep! Thank you! The fun time slowly passed by. Is night time available? Eventually everyone went home. Nanako must have gotten tired too. She already seemed to be sleeping in her room. Was sleeping in her room. Thanks for everything today. It's been a while since I last saw Nanako in high spirits like that. <laughs> the case is finally solved. Now for all the... <laughs> ah, never mind. Save it for some other time. You know, you really made some great friends. Yep. The sun set peacefully.
This is the first day of school, right? Yeah, the first day in the second term. You should have it school. Morning. Good morning. Oh, summer vacation's over already. Yo, guys. I got lost on my way here. Really? Vacation was pretty long. Wasn't that long. Not that long. Sheesh. Oh, look who it is. Good morning. You? You're that, uh, pint-sized detective. I beg your pardon? My name is Naoto. Please don't give people bizarre nicknames you make up on the spot. Um, you know this is a high school, right? My cooperation with the police has come to an end. However, there are aspects of the case with which I remain unconvinced. There are some family-related issues as well, so I've decided to stay here for the present. From today forth, I'll be a first year at your high school. And I felt that I should at least introduce myself to you all. I trust our relations will be cordial, senpai. Senpai? That detective boy's our underclassman? Do you think he's the same age as you or older than you? So, they got the guys over, uh, over some break. The guy, the guy, the guy over some break. I uh, was sad to know he was a student that once stopped. You gotta watch over uh, on just the final exam. And guys, I'm sure you know what that means. You all watch gossip news. You never know who uh, uh, the grudge, uh, who has a grudge against you. My ex, train your body re uh, regularly so you can fight back. You need to exercise and need to train your body, young people. Eat meat. All right. Now, sudden question about meat. Hey, you. Venison, so what kind of meat? What um, is, is the meat of what kind of animal? All of the above. You give me the answer if that was correct. That's right, I'm surprised you know. Venison is the name of any game meat that includes wild boar, deer, moose, reindeer, and even some, uh, some kind of rabbit. It came from the word of uh, venor means to hunt, it, but nowadays people really only use it for deer meat. Speaking of outdoor experience, the school trip is next week. I hope you get a chance to get some yummy meat. But be careful not eat anything that has a hidden uh, to hide in the cold name, though. Ha ha ha. Are you answer correctly? Knowledge increase, let's go. I thought that might be enough to get me to rank 5, actually. Man, school's as dull as ever. With the case closed, the days feel so. Empty all of a sudden. Come on, Yosuke. Everything went back to normal. It's a good thing. I didn't mean it that way. It's just... Hey, we're stopping by Juness later, right? Why don't we ask Naoto Kun to join us? Oh, well, I just thought, since he doesn't know anyone yet, he must feel lonely. Didn't he say he came here to help out with the murder case? With the case closed, he's just an ordinary guy now. And if you think about it, that makes him a transfer student, just like us. Hello, senpai. Maybe he transferred here out of plain stubbornness. Because he doesn't seem like he's only in it for fun. Alright, let's see if he wants to hang out with us. A celebrity coming to school is already a surprise, but a detective is even rarer. I'm a little curious to see what his family's like, too. There's that, and the fact that he's a detective at his age. Oh, speak of the devil. There's the little guy. You don't know the area yet, right? Come on, who will show you around? There's probably tons of places to hang out that only we'd know about. That won't be necessary. I'm not interested in hanging out. And neither am I interested in you two. Huh? Hey, what did you say? What's with that attitude? We're just trying to be friendly. Jeez, way to make an impression. Yo, Naoto-kun. How's it going? Oh, um... 
Hey guys. So. Uh. Well, we'll be going now. So we meet again. May I help you? Hey, now Dokun. If you're not doing anything after school, wanna come with us? Come with... you mean me? Perhaps another time. I have some things to mull over. Things to mull over? I must go straight home today. I promised my grandpa so. Grandpa? Oh well, that's that then. Let's hang out some other time. Man, did you see Naoto's attitude? He sure blew his debut at school. Is he gonna be okay at Yasugami? He is different, but he has this mysterious air around him that draws your attention. Whoa, Yukiko, I never knew. You like younger guys? No, that's not what I meant. Hmm. Natakun said he has things to mull over, but he's got to be talking about the murder case. He's some ace detective, right? I bet he's not satisfied, even though the case is closed. That's true, but... Hmm. This place isn't our special headquarters anymore. Huh. Let's talk about something else. Isn't the class trip coming up soon? Um, where are we going? Tatsumi Port Island. I need some water, I'll be right back.